Bird in Hand is a winery and entertainment venue near Woodside in the Adelaide Hills wine growing region. The Nugent family have operated a winery and live on the property which is named after a local 19th century gold mine. A state of the art winery and a straw and mud barrel cellar were completed in 2007. Bird in Hand also produces its own olive oil which is exported globally. <laughs> Make me ride faster, just put it in my jersey. Bird in Hand Winery is also the starting point for stage two of the Java Subaru National Road Series. Today, first up we see the women. And yesterday, Ruth Corset dominated on the climbs. Today, a different race. She wears the jerseys of Sprint, King of the Mountain, but she'll start on the start line with a coveted yellow jersey as tour leader. Ruth Corset's team, the Holden Racing Team, also have Janelle Cooks, a young rider, in fourth place, but they're going to have their work cut out now. The Ruth Corset having a 32 second lead, they're going to have to defend that on this 50 kilometre circuit, which they'll do two laps, a 100 kilometre stage. You can't go in it feeling defeated or you've already lost the race and 32 seconds, you've just got to race it smart and, and try different things, take risks. It was an eventful stage too for the women here at the Java Subaru National Road Series. Very early on, very quiet, a few attacks, nothing really major got away. Then about mid-race, a break of 11 riders got away but no one of significance in the overall classification, so they'll allow to extend their lead out to over a minute. Then on the second lap, it's all where it started happening. Ali McDonald took the King of the Mountains the second last time. The main peloton reacted and split them up. I knew after the KO when people's legs are tired and we knew we were gonna at least get a couple of us counter-attacking and um, yeah, I got away and I think this time I really backed myself. Felicity Wardlaw broke away and held out to a lead, extended it eight over a minute. We got a pretty late time check. We only got one time check actually today and um, at, when it got to 1.18. Holden Racing Team started to panic a little bit, got caught short, roof corset was left on her own with three other riders tracing as they went through the dirt section. The other two teams um, specialised and VIS weren't interested in helping us so um, we had to try and do it on our own and in the end it was just too late. When I'm on my own like that I can just sit in the groove and go. I didn't know I could um, probably pull a, pull a minute back especially from Ruth, I know they've got a full team. Coming down to the finish, Felicity Wardlaw extended the lead to a minute 25 on the road and held it all the way to line, take stage victory and won by a minute 25 over Ruth Corset in third place. That puts her now in the lead by 25 seconds. It's, it's fantastic and I, I haven't had an NRS win and um, no, I guess being a time trialist and a strong, a strong rider you are often ta you know, marked rider so uh, I'm pretty stoked and I wish it was the last stage because then we can go and celebrate. <laughs> but we've got two more stages to go. Stage two for the men's at the Java Subaru. Same circuit as the women, but they do three laps. So three times over the dirt section. Today, I think we're gonna see a very exciting stage. Yesterday, Wes Salzberger and Drapak dominated the stage. Avani Racing and Budget Forklifts missed the major break. They'll be very aggressive today. Uh, we're gonna go out pretty aggressively and just uh, give it all we've got, really. We're in the leader's jersey, so we'll be on the defensive and just marking uh, some of the moves that are dangerous. Early on, the bunch was very nervous. There was a crash in there, riders touching wheels. Yeah, the crash happened right next to me and I thought, ooh, that's a bit close. It was very hectic in the convoy as riders were trying to break away. As expected during the men's race, once they hit the dirt, it was on. They were reaching speeds of 68 kilometres an hour. It played havoc with the field. We had numerous punches. The team mechanics were kept busy. Neutral service was kept busy. And it sorted the field out. There was a number of riders on the side of the road. Some got back on, some didn't. But it certainly changed the face of the race leading into the last lap. Uh, definitely a, a classic style race. And it's a tough one day race here. The Adelaide circuit around Bird in Hand. And the dirt road section makes it uh, very interesting to race upon. Then the real racing started. There was a group of some 30 riders that split and we had 18 riders up in front. 
They started to then attack each other. They split into a front group of seven riders. Going for yellow and we knew we had Wes on the ropes when uh, he was the only drag back left with about 30 30k to go. And then we, me and Timmy, we just started launching and I was lucky enough to get in the move that stuck. Very interesting to know the Dre Pack, the race leader Wes Salzburg missed the break. Fourth place, Joe Cooper of Andy Rating missed the break. So that break drove along, being driven by Brody Talbot from Budget Forklift. He was just 39 seconds behind the leader going in today. Brody Talbot did all the work. From the last 10 kilometres, he had no help. No, no one helped. I kind of figured that when I saw Brenton uh, just behind me. I thought, well, he's not going to help. So I've just got to keep digging deep and hopefully it all pays off and I can stay away and gain that 40 seconds that I needed. They had a minute 10. Brody Talbot drove it all the way to the line knowing the stage Richie wasn't going to be his today and Brenton Jones from Avani Racing took a great victory. Here is the cross line, yes, there's a big pump. Brody Talbot did enough as he crossed the line in fourth place to put the yellow jersey on his shoulders, taking it away from Wes Salzburg with Drave Pack. Oh, it's, it's a, so far, it's a highlight of my career. The, just the thrill, all that pain, uh, it's just, yeah, it meant nothing just getting the result and getting on G leading the GC. Still the tours, you know, might, might be decided today, but there's still two days to go and anything can happen. So tomorrow, Brady Talbot budget forklist dons the yellow jersey.